Lord, we come before you. First of all, to praise you. Because you've been good to us. You blessed us all day long. And we want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You brought us over the highway. And we said thank you. Couldn't have made it without you, Lord. And we said thank you. Thank you, Lord. For your people, Lord. Oh, Lord. I need you today, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, you were in my mouth. Oh, Lord. I'm lost, Lord. Everything that I have belongs to you, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Jesus. I need to be, Lord. That it's already done. And we say thank you, Lord. Everybody say thank you. Thank you. and there's many speakers that are around here and you could have chose anybody. But I praise God, I count it a privilege yes. to stand before you on today yes. as one of God's servants. Yes. God been good to me. Yes. We had a little sad news when our mothers passed early this morning and several other things was going on. But I told the saints this morning, look like the weight of the things sometimes the weight try to get on your shoulder. Yes. And we got some phone calls and weights begin to weigh on our shoulder. But as I walked through my bedroom, uh -huh. I told the saints on the day, I said, the devil is a lie. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah! Yeah. The devil is a lie. Yeah. God! Yeah. And I begin yeah. to yeah. praise God. Yeah. I said, you don't wait till the battle is over. Yeah. You start praising him now. Yeah. And I said, I got victory. Yeah. I got victory. Yeah. And I walked down and then began to go to church and praise God on today. <laughs> and the Lord did bless me Lord as well as he blessed the saints. We thank yeah. God for our precious mother Hill being here with us. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. When I miss you, yeah. and I have the desire to come to be with us. Yeah. Amen, yeah. Sister Reba. Amen. Reba Ellis. Amen. Some more of our precious saints. We just thank God for them desiring to be here. Yeah. And I just thank God looking at the theme, it says the power 
of a praying woman. And I thought about that, and I've been kind of meditating in my mind, and asking the Lord, I said, Lord, which way should I go? <laughs> and I know a minute you all have been this place before, and I just thank God for it. We was traveling last night from St. Louis. We got in about 1 o'clock. But I thank God we got in before the storm. Right about 10, about 10, we got off the exit. Sister Clark, it began to really storm. And I just began to praise God because he had blessed us to come. And I just thank God for his goodness. But it says the power of a praying book. Now, you know, I thought about that, and I looked at that, and I thought about power. I heard her talk about power just a few minutes ago. And you know, there's so many ways that you can be talking about power. You can go in the workforce, and there's very people in the workforce up in the high places, and they got power, and they think they can do this, and they think they can do this. We got the power here. When you think about that power outages that we had, Lord, no. We can praise God that the Lord blessed us. As the sister said, that you can walk to that wall and flick that switch. And Lord, and we can say, thank you, Jesus. And I thought about how many times I went to the thing and wasn't no power there. I said, Lord, have mercy. I am again thinking that you can just, it's just a natural thing. But you think that you're going to turn that switch on. And sometimes we can take things for granted. And I thank God that the Lord blessed us and blessed all of us. So many people got consumed. So I'm lost in life. But God blessed us. Yeah. But we start talking about the power of prayer of a praying one. Yeah. First of all, you can just start talking about power of prayer. Oh, yeah. The power of prayer brings changes. Yeah. You heard a song say, I know what prayer can do. Uh -huh. Prayer has brought me through. Yeah. I know what prayer can do. Yeah. When I was down and out, uh -huh. didn't know which direction that I would go in. I called on the name of Jesus. And guess what? He brought me out. And I know I got some witnesses out here. But I was sick and looked like I couldn't get away. I called on the name of Jesus. And guess what? He brought me out. The power of prayer. Oh, bless your holy name. Power of prayer. When you pray, how should I pray? We got examples in the Bible that told us how to pray. Oh, Jesus. I don't know if you all read the scripture that we're going through before I go into further. But I think she had the whole chapter, 1 through 28. I know that we possibly, it's a little late in the hour. I didn't know we want to read the whole thing. So what we're going to do. We're just going to kind of go down there just a little bit and elaborate a little bit right. on the different yeah. things that's going on. Is that all right? This all right. All right. All right, then. So we're looking at First Samuel. Everybody look at that and you can turn to First Samuel, the very first chapter. And we know how the story starts off. It starts off with the first verse telling you about Elkanah and his, who he was. If you look in there, you'll see all of those things that it started talking about. And then he goes on down to the second verse. And it said, and he had two wives. Y'all hear that? <laughs> two wives. <laughs> the name of one of them was Hannah, and the name of the other one was Penana. And Penana had children, but Hannah, what? Had no children. Now I looked at that thing, now you know, we see this on TV, and they be talking about polygamy. And we know that you can't do that, and I thought to myself, it just don't work. No. You see in this Bible right now, you see from this story as we go a little bit further. Two wives just wouldn't make it. It just wouldn't make it. You would imagine to yourself, two wives. So I thank God. I thank God.